As you know, AI is becoming a big part of our lives. And today I would like to try something with you. I have very nice videos on the Turkish channel, which go hit the millions. And I wanted to choose one of those videos and with the help of the AI, translate it from Turkish to English and then make the dubbing through AI. We'll see how it's gonna work. This weekend, while you're watching this video, we are gonna have the elections which will decide our future. So wish us good luck. And secondly, let's see how the AI has done. If you like the video, please share it with the comment. If you don't like the video, please also share it. Think about it as a trial of understanding what the technology can do and whether it's going to help us or it's going to give a burden. We are really wondering what you think. The most important thing for me and Bahar and Burak and the whole team is to see the light in your eyes. And we see that through comments. Share whatever you think. Welcome to our cooking school. Today, I will give you a very simple and delicious lemonade recipe. Whether people like lemonade or not, after drinking this, they'll definitely say, this is so delicious. I've never had such good lemonade. I claim that it is a recipe that can make one say such things. And with its beauty, in about two minutes, I will summarize all of them for you. I have five lemons. The most important thing here is lemons should not be waxed. Peel the apple like this nicely with the back of a knife or something like that. The residue that comes off is actually paraffin, one we usually know from candles and such. It comes off like a residue or something. If there is such a thing in your lemon, when you peel it like this and a white residue comes off, don't use that lemon. Because what gives the taste to lemonade, not the juice inside, but the peel on the outside. First rule. Now, graters have different types of sides. We will use the smallest one here. I'm grating the lemon. But the important thing here is this, this white part, bitter, not the white part. It has to stay on this yellow part. If you go down to this white part, you will take the bitterness of the lemon. Now I'm going to grate it like this. I've completely grated all five lemons, grated without revealing the white part. The whole kitchen smelled incredibly beautiful. Now I'm getting a glass container like this. In fact, you can do it directly inside this. Now I'm using the back of the knife to transfer everything into this container. It's all in there. I'm going to add sugar so I can fully bring out its flavor. Five tablespoons of sugar normally, but I like less sugar. I'll put three spoons. If you're asking Refika to allow us to add sugar, you can crush it a little bit, mix it with honey, and let it sit for a while like that. The point here is to better transfer the flavor of the sugar. Actually, it works like sandpaper. Also, the ideal is to let it sit overnight. When we let it sit overnight, that whole thing, the peel really releases its entire flavor into the mix. But we don't have that kind of time right now. You might not either. That's why a little bit more like this. I'm struggling to crush it. And that crunch of sugar, that sound. Until that sound is gone, I'll crush it with the back of a spoon. You see, it's all crushed and mixed. I had five lemons now squeeze their juice. I can add it to it. Now, for example, this lemon, a little harder than the other one, maybe a little harder, I might have a hard time squeezing this. I didn't want to make it. Just so you know, just roll it under your hand on the counter. The sack's inside of it so that put pressure on it so it'll explode after you cut. When you cut it off, as you see, the juice is easily squeezed. The juice of five lemons I'm adding it, and all the last of them. By the way, into from lemon balm to Melissa, or a piece of kumquat like this, or it could be a tangerine, or peels of different citrus fruits. Delicious, fragrant, or by crushing a piece of such beautiful herbs. You can also crush that in a mortar and put it in. Keep it in mind. This is more or less ready. Now we're drinking this right away. By the way, I don't throw away these lemons. Our hands are now constantly busy with cooking, you know. It always gets stained like this. And the best method to clean it is, before going home in the evening, the lemon peel works incredibly well, far better than any soap or stain remover when it comes to tackling stains on the hands. It's a simple, natural solution that has proven to be surprisingly effective. Keep it in mind. Now, I'm adding water to this mixture, one liter of drinking water. And then on top of that, since the lemon peels are granulated, I need to strain them thoroughly. Like I said, this is a little bit more meaty. For not making it wait one night, one more night and it'll be even brighter. I can sieve the mix now. Now this is the last piece that's left. The one that's like a pulp. Press it down, because that's actually the best part. Let's get some. I know Tunch is jealous of me behind the camera right now. Well, she who holds honey licks her fingers. 
pretty good by the way. I want to tell you the last clue. Instead of still water, Refika, can I use sparkling? Yes, you can. Refika, I don't want to use sugar, I want to use honey. The floral taste. It might taste a bit off, but you can do it. If you say I don't want to use any sugar, it'll be nice. It turns into a lemony water, but a really nice kind of lemony. However, I cannot guarantee that it'll be this good. We're done. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please don't forget to hit the like button below. It's a very easy lemonade, so there's only lemon and there's water. Don't forget to make this recipe and share it with your loved ones. If you say check this out, I made this with a recipe from Refika or something. It'd make us really happy. See you later. Have you enjoyed the video? If you have enjoyed it, please write it down. If you haven't enjoyed it, also please write it down. The video, we weren't able to do it ourselves. We got help from the Oleng team, a Turkish team which is mastering the AI on Translate. And thank you guys for all your help. And I really want to hear what you think. If you're watching this on Saturday, tomorrow is gonna be the elections. Wish us good luck for the good to win.